What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're getting back into that video series on what I'm gonna be taking, some of the gear that I'm purchasing for my September elk trip to Colorado. Today I'm gonna to be doing a initial review on these Solomon Quest 4D GTX boots. Uh, bought these probably two months ago and so far I have about 58 miles on them so far just from various hikes uh, getting prepped and ready for that September elk hunt in Colorado. The majority of those miles are road miles, uh, a lot of rocks and just chip and sill pavement, uh, but also have hit some trails with these. And just gonna provide an initial overview, what I think of the actual boot, and then that will allow me to come back later, answer any questions after a lot more use, and then potentially do another review uh, maybe during or after the hunt itself. First thing, if you have these boots or if you're going to buy these boots, first thing you'll notice is just how extremely lightweight they are. I did weigh one of these and one boot weighs 1.6 pounds. The boots do come with Gore-Tex and one thing that they've added, they have different versions of these Quest series boots, but one thing that they've added is what they call the Contra Grip which is a new chassis and a new lug system on the sole of the boot. And what it does, it just adds more rigidity to the boot. Just from day one, slipping your foot into this thing, just extremely comfortable. And you guys know how boots are, you know, it's not a one size fits all. This boot might not work for some of you guys and it could be perfect for others. So you'll just have to kind of do a trial and error, but um, I've wore a lot of boots in my day, but I needed something to head out west and have a little more rigidity on the bottom, better lugs, and just a lot better traction for the mountains. Decided to go with this after looking at a lot of reviews and its price point as well. There's Kinetrex, a bunch of other different brands of boots out there that are two times as much as this and possibly two times the boot. But for me, going out to Colorado for a seven to 10 day hunt, um, I don't need to be spending $500 on a pair of boots. So. So far, I'm extremely happy with these, extremely comfortable. They have the mesh breathing system here, and then in between the mesh is secured by this leather and a little bit of rubber uh, that kind of holds everything in place. It just feels really great on your foot whenever you slip your foot into the boot. I think they come in uh, two or three different colors. I chose the kind of greenish and black color uh, should match the terrain pretty well where I hunt here and then out west. And I'll also make sure and throw a link down below so you guys can take a look at these, read some other reviews. One thing I really like is this rear eyelet that's kind of right in the middle of the bend of your ankle. You can see how much further back it sets. loops it way back there and that allows you to keep tension on the flex portion of your ankle but then you can also leave this loose if you need to or leave this loose or vice versa so if you're going on a descent most of the day you might want to keep this portion a little bit looser than typical or if you're going uphill you might really want to cinch down the top portion but you can always keep pressure right here in the middle where your ankle flexes because this eyelet's back here and not up here in line initially we thought we might go to colorado in late october so that would have led me to probably to a different boot but now that we're going in uh, earlier mid-september uh, didn't want anything with heavy insulation or insulation at all actually just because we're gonna be doing a lot of spot and stalking, hitting the bugle and then trying to locate the bulls and then just closing the distance from there. So a lot of uh, boots on the ground, a lot of walking and my feet are kind of prone to sweating anyway. So definitely didn't want insulation in September in Colorado. If you can kind of see here, there is some give up in the toe, but there's not a lot. I'll kind of show you what I've been using around here in prior years are these uh, Irish setters pretty muddy right now you can just see that right there you do have to keep in mind that these are extremely broken in I've had these for probably I don't know four maybe five years really good boot really cheap boot um, but extremely comfortable 
and got the drop done around here for warm season but you can just see the difference between the two so you can imagine you know climbing a rocky surface or just rocky terrain you know this and the tread system if you can see is just a lot better on the solomons like i mentioned earlier they do make some other versions of these quest boots these come with the ortholite uh, comfort from the inside out is what this says the ortholite uh, insole in here i think some of the other versions they have the uh, ankle portion doesn't come up quite as high and i don't think some of the other versions have the uh, advanced chassis system in it is what they call it so probably not quite as rigid maybe and then there's extra support up here because these do come up maybe an inch higher than the other versions like i mentioned only had these probably two months but have been hitting it pretty hard with these um, closing in on 60 miles with them and extremely happy so far guys uh, very comfortable breathe pretty well um, I recommend a good wool sock, darn tough, or farm to feet is what I'm a big fan of. Um, a good sock can make a huge difference, so uh, don't discount the boot right off the bat if it doesn't fit very well or if it doesn't breathe very well, you think. Uh, make sure and try some good socks as well. Just kind of wanted to make this initial review for you guys so I can continue to answer questions if anybody has questions throughout the way. And then like I say, maybe do a closeout video or just a second review uh, once I get a lot more miles on these and actually go through the hunt. But if you guys have any questions on these Solomon boots that I'm gonna be using, make sure and comment down below. Try to get back to those questions as quick as I can. And as always, appreciate you guys being here for the ride. Stay tuned for more gear videos for this Colorado hunt getting pretty excited for that. September will be here before we know it. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.